Welcome back everybody, my name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Neverwinter Nights 2. Where we left off last time, we were going to hook up with Moira, not in a sexual way, but to join up with her criminal enterprise. Sound looks to be pretty good, hopefully. It will maintain that way. I would hate to have to redo this yet again. We should probably quick save actually, because we haven't saved in quite a while. Actually before, I realized that the audio is all messed up. In the, uh... I guess the first video I did today, out of three. If you enter my home and walk out alive, the only thing keeping a dagger out of your chest is Caleb's word, and that doesn't go as far as either of you might think. So maybe you better tell me why I should care about anything you say, and do it fast. I helped Caleb out, and I think I could help you out. Caleb is a fool. He stirred up the watch and then went into hiding. I'll deal with him soon enough. As for you... I'm not sure I want help from someone who wants to make friends with the Watch. You think preventing Caleb's arrest was a good thing? What kind of message did you send the Watch by paddling around like a frightened cat? You should have shown them who was in charge, but you didn't. If you harm the Watch, they'll strike back rather than look the other way. I think you underestimate the power of fear and respect. The Watch is a joke, worse than useless, and if you turn up dead, no one will care. I prefer to run a tight ship, and that means the district's got to have someone at the helm. Me. So you want to control the district? All of it? It needs to be controlled. Neverwinter's got enemies who are waiting for us to show weakness. And the Watch and the Grey Cloaks aren't going to stop them. They already failed us before. I was here when the disease and Luskins tore apart the city. In the end, Neverwinter was saved by mercenaries. Adventurers. No one survived those times without losing someone, or something. And I'm not going to pray for outsiders to save us next time when I can do something about it now. So where do I fit in? We have a good grip on the docks now, but unless we squeeze, that grip's as useless as an edict from Nasher. Other gangs are always trying to take our territory, and I can always use more watchmen answering to me instead of their sergeants. So what do you want me to do? You're going to sweep the docks for me, hit each of the watch guard posts, turn those that can be turned, take care of those who can't. And other gangs and thieves, if you can get them to join us, do so, if not send a message. We're running the docks. You want to do business? You talk to us. Got it? I understand. I'll show them who's boss. There are some who believe a few soft words and low-spoken threats are how we should rule the docks. Me? I believe in fear, backed by pain. So get started. Return when the sweep's done and we'll show you. Or er, and we'll see how you did. Now go. Yes. In the meantime, I'm going to take all your stuff like I did previously. I do sort of know what we're doing here because... I had done this in the previous- oh, there's more money in there this time. So. Last time there's only like 490, so there we go, we made an extra $30. I'll call that a victory. A very small victory, but a victory nonetheless. Alright, here we go. So we're going to find watch, people, and thugs. Those are our two big groups that we need to, uh bring about to our side. Something the watch can do for you? Things look quiet around here tonight. You won't be hearing any complaints from me. Be nice if it were this quiet every night. I can keep it this quiet every night. That's a bold statement. What, you a sorcerer or something? Got a private army somewhere behind you? Something far less complicated. Gold. Yeah, you plan on paying everyone in the district to becoming law-abiding citizens? You and your men wouldn't mind a little extra coin in your purses, would you? You're trying to bribe me? I could have you arrested for this. Unlike some others, I take my duty to the watch seriously. But think of your family. Some extra gold would certainly make life easier. Well, I wouldn't have to do anything to betray the watch, would I? I could just... I just wouldn't raise a blade against them. All you have to do is nothing when it comes to Moira's people. While money is tight nowadays, especially if you're a watchman, the council keeps taking from our budget to pay for other priorities, trade losses, reconstruction from the war, and it wouldn't be betraying the watch, I mean. Not really. Very well, if you got the gold, we got an understanding. Just don't make me regret this. You'll find that your life just became a whole lot easier. You just make sure it stays that way. Now, if you don't mind, I'd rather people not see us talking together. Have a good evening, friend. One down. Yes. Keep it moving. We're already behind schedule. If you stopped talking and helped me push, we'd already be there. What are you doing? What? Oh, this? Nothing. Nothing at all. 
just, you know, moving. That's just moving all of our things. Moving, huh? I don't see any furniture. Right, uh, we already moved the big stuff. These are our personal belongings. You won't mind if I take a look inside, then. You're not getting the hint, are you? This is none of your business. Nothing moves without Moira's permission. Moira doesn't own the docks. You'd be smart to remember that. Moira will be more lenient if you just show me the contents of this wagon. Fine, have it your way. Go on, look. Happy now? Can we go? This isn't enough to be of interest to Moira. A gesture of goodwill would help. Actually, you know what? It doesn't matter. Nothing comes into the docks without Moira's approval. No way. I worked too hard for this score. I'm not going to let Moira ruin it for me. Cheer up, though. After I kill you, I'll be sure to let her know how much of a pain you were. What were you aiming at with that spell? How close are we to a level also? A long ways away. We're a long way off from a level, unfortunately. Dead. Our poo to shreds. There's nobody left alive. And we made some gold out of this. Oh, I forgot to do something earlier as well. Shoot. I hope it's still there. There's a mini side quest we have to pick up. We'll do it on the way to the next guard post. If I can remember which alley it's in. There's the city watch. I think it's over here. Oh man, we have a lot of enemies on us now. There's some bladelings and some thugs. Come on, die. There we go. Oh, damn. It would appear that our good friend... We might actually die here. Maybe not, though. Don't do knockdowns, just hit it. Alright, dwarf. You're the last one alive. I believe in you, unless you roll a five. And miss your great cleave. Nice. Ooh. Oh, you got this. Good job, Kelgar. That was a bad time for all of the enemies that face at once. Come on, finish it. Yay, we won, sort of. <laughs> that was a little bit of a... Interesting fight. We're gonna have to rest really quickly. That being said, there is some loot for us to grab. Some fire agates. Some potions, some gold pieces, and some more gold pieces. Did the bladelings drop anything? They did not. Is this the alley that I needed to be in? No. Maybe? Maybe not. We gotta look around. There's an alley we need to go visit, and I can't remember which one it is. It's important though. Oh, let's not go there yet. Thought it was that alley, but I could be mistaken. It could be this alley up here. Or possibly the one with the thugs in it. Ow. Oh hey, our song's not on. Let's get that going. Nishka, why would you run away of- why did you take so many attack of opportunities just to attack some thug? You suck, Nishka. Let's 
finish off the last one. Good experience, though. I'll definitely give it that. Okay, we're not going to uh, talk to any more watch people yet. I just need to try and find this quest NPC that I forgot about earlier. I hope we can actually still get it. Yes. What? Oh, there's still more things. Oh, I see. We're not asking any more than what you've been paid to do by others here in the docks, Sergeant. And for showing some discretion, nothing more. We're offering more than you would have ever made from the scum here at the docks, all for simply leaving your shift a little early. I don't think you'd understand how much trouble that could cause me. These thieves at the docks aren't people you want to cross. That's why we're willing to pay so much, Sergeant. It's nothing more than you've done in the past. What does it matter who's from this time? Looks like someone's about to have his loyalty tested. Loyalty we thieves already paid for. What? I haven't agreed to anything? You have to believe me. So you're part of the band that claims to run the docks here. Perhaps we should have approached you first. But you didn't, and that was your mistake. Look, I never took their money. I know where my loyalties lie. Correct, Sergeant. We're the choice you have to live with. Cross us and there's no place in... Oh, no place in Neverwinter that you'll be safe for you or your family. You're right. I may have accepted some gold to look the other way, but at least it's always been Neverwinter gold. You Luskins take your gold and set sail at the port this night, or I'll ship you, and your f or ship you back to your filthy city in boxes. That is unfortunate. You and your men will not be at this post at the given time. I assure you. Kill them all and dispose of the evidence. We wish to avoid unnecessary bloodshed, but will be far more enjoyable to spit these Neverwinter hounds upon our blades. Nishka's gonna die again. Like, instantly. Maybe not. Maybe she'll actually survive this encounter. That would be nice. She definitely needs it. That's it. <laughs> yep. Dead again. Oh, we didn't get the experience for that, I don't think. The war is barely over and the Luskins are already looking to cause trouble again. I thought all their troubles with Rathim would be enough to keep the, dust the Luskins out of our city. But here they are, crawling into the harbor like rats off a sinking ship. I'm glad you were here to back us up. You won't uh, tell more what was said before the fight, will you? Don't worry about it. You were on the right side when steel was drawn, and that's enough. And after what they tried here, I'd sooner kill them than give in to them ever. Then see to it you hold on to your word. Look, I know where my loyalties lie, I swear. Good. Let's rest, because we're a little bit under the weather in terms of damage, especially Nishka, who's basically a walking corpse at this point. That one over there? Hang on, we gotta go to try and find this uh, NPC still. Maybe it's only during... After this quest, it'll be back. Hopefully. It sucked to have missed him. Alright, let's do this encounter. Ladies, ladies, please, there's no call to lose our tempers over this. Temper? I haven't even gotten warmed up yet. <laughs> Being able to keep a rein on your spells is a sign of discipline, Clara. Something you could never master. <laughs> and the instructors aren't here to shield you. Go on. Set fire to this whole street and this sad tavern, and you'll never be able to return to the academy, let alone Neverwinter. As if I'd want to stay in that prison with you high-nosed witches for another year. You're right. Here among the docks is where you belong, peddling yourself for cheap coin. Oh, damn. Wow, someone get me a tankard. This is going to get good. What in the nine hells did I do to deserve the... Oh, thank the gods you've arrived. Do something. These ladies are about to start throwing spells outside my establishment. 
All right, let me see what I can do. Whatever you do, do it quick. They won't be able to ferry enough water from the harbor to put out a blaze if things get out of hand. Heather, I think some thugs from the docks are here. Friends of yours, Clara? <laughs> Sent to bail you out, perhaps? I don't need anyone's help to turn you into ash. I'm here to beat some sense into all of you. <laughs> this is not your concern. Clara has threatened us for the last time, and we will stand for it no longer. Yeah? If Quara's so superior to us, then I say let her prove it, without the Academy instructors stepping in to stop things. The instructors? They never stopped me before. You always went running to them, not me. I've heard every word you've said about me, always talking behind my back, ridiculing me, just because it takes you a shoreman's hour to cast a cantrip. <laughs> and you think setting fire to a stable while casting yours is any better, Quara? I practice restraint, not showy, excessive displays. Yeah, Hitha is simply cautious in her craft. You're the dangerous one, Quara. If you knew how dangerous I was, then you should have known better than to push me this far. If violence is the only way to settle this, let's get to it. It'll be my pleasure. Hope you girls know a good priest. I didn't need your help. Those wizards had it coming. Maybe so, but not in front of this inn. Those noble-born wannabe mages are just jealous. They don't like the fact that I can summon more power from my thumb than they can with a day's worth of concentration. They're always staring into their tomes and books, trying to categorize magic. It's a waste of time. It just is. And either you understand it or you don't. It's instinct. That's actually a sorcerer thing to say, because sorcerers uh, have innate magical abilities, whereas wizards have studied magical abilities. That's the difference. Sounds to me like your lessons haven't been paying off. Well, the thing is, I'm not a part of the academy anymore. I quit, sort of, after burning down the stable. Last you should have thought of that before starting a fight outside the flagon and the damage you caused before they even showed up. It's the wood you use in the rafters. It sets fire easily. Sorry about that. Sorry? Oh, lass, I wasn't asking for an apology. You'll be paying me back, you will, for all my lost business, for a tarnished reputation, and for putting me and my kin in danger like that. What? I'm not working for either of you, ever. No, Duncan's right. I'm thinking you owe us. No, lass, you will. Or by gods, you'll bring down a fury from me like you've never seen. And not only that, if you don't, you'll be proving those other girls right. I don't think you're willing to admit you don't have discipline, restraint, or a sense of responsibility, like they claim to have. Besides, I doubt you'll be welcome back at the Academy. Actually, I could use some help in my travels, especially, or especially from a sorceress. You want me to help you? Fine, but I warn you, you may not be able to handle me. But if you want to take a demon by the horns, then fine. All right then, I'll make sure that I am wary. Quarter step plus one. And a ring of protection plus one. Nice. Some good solid loot there. Let's uh, talk to the sergeant here. So anyway, I told him to get another watchman to help him out, and that we're not leaving our post. Then he says, something I can help you with? Shift going okay? Everything seems peaceful. Here, maybe. I'd wager things are rougher away from the main roads. Word is Caleb's either dead or gone underground. Without a leash, his thugs are stealing anything that isn't nailed down. Not that I'm looking to get involved, mind you. Me, I'd rather be here at this guard post than out there. Trust me. You're a wise man. Don't know about wise. If I was wise, I wouldn't have signed on with the watch in the first place. The pay is low, the job can get dangerous. Then there's all the politics. Don't make this nobleman angry. Don't bother the emissary. Arrest so-and-so because he upset someone on the council. And then there's all the watchmen hungry for promotions. Still, it's a living, I suppose. Could be worse. I could be a guard in Luskin. Now there's a city gone to the hells. Money is hard to come by nowadays, isn't it? Tell me about it. Cuts to the watch, to pay for re reconstruction, trade routes on the high road disrupted, so fewer goods come in. And don't forget the moneylenders charging an arm and a leg for even the smallest of loans. Jackals, a lot of them. Bah, listen to me, drone. We've all got our problems, eh? Low pay and a thankless job being in the watch. I respect your dedication. Well, thanks. I don't hear that often, so it's much appreciated. 
Now, if only the rest of the city would feel the same way and give us some extra coin, eh? I could change that. The watch always welcomes help from the good people of Neverwinter, especially if it means more gold in our pockets. So, what is it that you can do to help me out? Moira has taken it upon herself to protect the dock. She's willing to pay extra to know she can count on you if the need arises. Moira? She's been hunting down watchmen like rats. Why the hells would I want to have anything to do with that killer? Because it's better to be standing behind the one holding the dagger than in front of her. You make a good point. One less thing to worry about during my shifts. I need to know one thing though. I need to know that my doing this won't mean people getting hurt. The only people who deserve, or sorry, only people who deserve to get hurt will be. I bet Mora's got a rather loose definition on who's deserving. Still, it's not like I would go out of my way to stop her goons. All right, tell Moira that the boys and I will make sure she can do business around here without trouble from us. But you also tell her that she'd better not make me regret this if I hear of anyone coming to harm. You won't regret it. Everything will be fine. Now that I doubt. If Moira's involved, there's trouble around the corner. Just make sure she keeps me out of it. You best be going. I don't want anyone seeing us talking together like this. Well. Thank you for your time, good sir. There's one more watch group up there. I'm just going to do one more quick sweep for the NPC that I was hoping to find. We're back to where the bladeling was. I don't see him. I thought he was in here. He might have despawned. Maybe he's in a different- is there another alley around here somewhere? Those are just thugs, we need to go kill them at some point shortly. Let's uh, quickly wander down this way. This is where the armor smith is, sort of. That's the tavern. Make sure there's no random thugs around this part either. If we can't get the quest, it's not a huge deal. It's not a very important one, but it is a cool one, so I'd rather do it. Oh, there's some thugs. Heh, <laughs> I thought Moira's men were tough. This one dropped like a pigeon. Hurry, grab his gold before someone shows up. You boys are in serious trouble. Hey, look at this, one of Moira's newest recruits. I guess there's always a few more dregs at the bottom of a barrel. You shouldn't have come around here, this gold's ours, and we don't take orders from that witch, got it? Moira could use men like you, she can set you up with easier and richer targets. Nice try, if Moira wants to get her hands on us, she'll have to come down herself. Come on boys, let's see if this one falls as easy as the last one. I can assure you I will not. Also, you, get your creature out. Fluffykins killed it. Good job, Fluffykins. Okay, Fluffykins, you're standing on the body. I need you to move. Now I'm standing on the body. I need me to move. Hopefully this is all fixed now. We actually had to do like six videos today to make three. That's awesome. Well, technically four to make three. Five to make three? Yeah, five to make three. I'm still going to leave that one kind of crappy quality, not crappy quality, but crappy audio quality one. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I don't have a save prior to that point, and I don't want you guys to miss a bunch of the game because of some bug. Well, not bug. Uh, maybe it is a bug. I'm going to call it a bug because I think it more or less is. Let's finish off this quest and we'll see if we can't, uh, maybe the NPC will come back. Oh, there's some more thugs though. Hi guys. Hurry, it's getting cold out here and the family's not going to stay out all night. You want to try opening this lock? I don't remember you ever learning how to do it. Why can't we just break the window or something? It's not like anyone would try and stop us. You spoke too soon, not your lucky night, is it? Huh? Who in the hells are you? This is none of your business. Moira controls crime in the docks now. Walk away and I'll forget I saw anything. Come on, it's cold. You're not getting that door open anytime soon and I'm thirsty. Besides, I'm not looking for a fight. I guess you're right. I'm telling you though, just a little more time and I'd have opened that lock. Let's get something to drink. Heh. <laughs> No stomach for a stand-up fight. A shame. Not everyone's eager for a fight like you, Kelgar. Sometimes a little push, the right word, and you win before the fists start flying. That's one nightmarish world I wouldn't want to live in. Come on, let's go find some less reasonable thieves. Yeah, the NPC is not around. 
Disappointing. Uh, that's the one we've already dealt with. We've solved his problem. There's a thug over there. Several of them, actually. I like how people are just wandering around. It's not even nighttime anymore and we're just having a fight in the middle of the street. Stop with your magic missiles. Good job, Nishka. You take down that mage. Oh good, Kelgar, you decided to finally come into the fight. I didn't even notice you weren't in the fight. Otherwise I should have anticipated it by the fact that it was taking eight years longer to win. Alright, good. Liber Occultum. Occulticum? Something like that. Roll some gold. Oh, there's more guys to fight apparently. Kelgar's going to do it by himself. Let's go help him. That wizard didn't last too long though. Perfect. Maybe next time don't run in by yourself, but good enough. Let's go uh, deal with the last guard post. It's down this way. You can see it on the map. It's right there. Finish this up. See if the one quest giver comes back. Hopefully he will. If not, I mean, it's not a huge, huge loss. It's just sort of annoying. What the hell? Where'd those thugs come from? We just came through here. Flank him. Get some sneak attack, damn it. Or tank, I don't care which. Alright. Hopefully we'll get a level pretty soon. It would be nice to get another red dragon disciple level out of this. The only thing that's really going to suck is we might have to do some more bard levels before we can actually start to do our weapon master stuff. I kind of wish we went human. We would have been able to do the Weapon Master a little bit faster. Actually, quite a lot faster, but that's okay. We could just do straight up Warrior, too, and get some basic attack bonus and stuff. What do you want? Busy night? Aye, as busy as it ever is. Any something you wanted? Seems poor work for a guard with talent. Aye, that'd be the truth. There's not enough gold in the Dwarven Halls to make this duty pass by quickly enough. Maybe I could help balance things out. And what might you be suggesting? No promises, but if you're talking, I'm listening. Thought I'd treat you to an early round of drinks before your shift is over. You can spend it however you like. To see and hear what others might like me to. What you're suggesting sounds about the right price. I'll need a little extra gold from you thieves if you don't want to see yourself in irons before the end of the night. Let's bluff. I'm a man of my word. If we can count on you, then you can count on me to come through with a fair price. Is that so? Looks to me like I'm dealing with a filthy liar, one that needs to be put down. Oh, shit. Uh, alright guys. Did you just electrocute the plant? I don't think that's okay. Looks like the watch are all dead. Clearly we need more bluff skill. Although our bluff skill is actually quite high, I guess we rolled low. So many thugs spawning behind us all the time, it's ridiculous. Yeah, 
There we go. Everybody's dead. Including one patrol of watch, which sucks, but that's okay. Just one patrol. And we've got a ring of jade, which I think isn't... Is it a light ring? Yeah, normal green light. Alright, let's go talk to Moira. We, uh, killed some thugs. Did some watchman stuff. Although we are at half an hour, so what I might do is end the video here. In the next video, we'll go talk to Moira. We'll tell her that we did all she asked, and that we've secured the district for her. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a great night slash day, and I'll see you next time. Take care.